Thanks for taking the time to get to know Applied Ceramics and the Firecat Combustor. We're looking forward to giving you an in-depth look at the Firecat and how you can both utilize and care for this equipment. During these next few segments, we'll learn exactly what the catalytic combustor is and how it works, how to maximize its performance and how to troubleshoot. And we'll learn that choosing Applied Ceramics means making an environmentally responsible decision. But first, let's hear from Bob Mitchell, CEO of Applied Ceramics. A lot of companies operate with good ethics. We wanted to be different than that. We wanted to do more than that. We wanted to go an extra mile for people. We have many companies who would write a recommendation for us saying that we, we deal at the very highest levels with the very largest companies in the world. That's unusual for a company our size, but it's because we put such an emphasis on developing new products. And we've been really the major supplier of catalytic combustors in the wood stove industry since 1980. One of the first products that we started playing around with was a what we call a catalytic combustor for the wood stove industry. We had some good friends in the wood, making wood stove products and so we showed it to them. They liked it, they bought it, and it started us down a path. In 1980, we got into the honeycomb business. We bought the technology that had been developed by General Refractories. We moved it to Atlanta. We set up the operation, and we went into the honeycomb world. In the last 25 years, we've been heavily involved in research and development for ourselves and for a variety of contract people. The future for applied ceramics is global. We're in a global economy, and we've done a number of global ventures. We built a new facility in Lawrence, South Carolina. It's a world-class facility, and we, we bought a plant in China. So if you look at our overall strategy, we're going to be able to supply products on a global basis from a number of plants, the highest quality at the best price. With their commitment to customer service and superior products, it's no wonder Applied Ceramics is the world's largest manufacturer of catalytic combustors. Leading the industry means teaming up with experts in the field, and Tim Cork is the one you want training you on catalytic combustors. Here's Tim to explain the standard wood-burning appliance. Before we get started, I'd like to give you a little information or background on how the catalytic converter made its way into the wood stove industry. To do this, we need to travel back in time to the 1970s, when home heating costs were on the rise. It was reported back then that electric rates increased 215 percent, oil prices increased 272 percent, and natural gas increased 483 percent. To combat these cost increases, many homeowners switched to wood as an alternative fuel for keeping their homes warm. At the same time, Hundreds of stove companies began to spring up across the United States. There was a problem with burning wood, though. Many of these stove manufacturers were producing stoves that weren't very efficient. Some were as low as 30 percent in their efficiency. They also produced harmful air pollutants. They also created heavy amounts of creosote. It was at this time that the catalytic converter was found to be an ideal solution to solving environmental problems, manufacturer problems, and the consumer's problems. In the late 1980s, the EPA began a certification program on all wood-burning stoves for home heating purposes. Today, wood-burning stoves sold for home heating must comply with the EPA's Phase II certification program. Catalytic stoves are designed with certain component parts to make the stove highly efficient. If you'll notice that the flame shield underneath the catalyst protects it from flame impingement. There are secondary air, primary air in the stove, and also a damper or a bypass it may be called. The secondary air is what feeds pre-warmed air to the combustor itself. The primary air are usually air intakes on the front of the stove, maybe a slide window or a damper rod that pulls in and out. 
This primary air is what is fed to the firebox to keep the fuel burning. It also acts as a wash for the firebox door to keep it clean. It's important to remember that catalytic stoves are designed for burning seasoned dried wood only. Burning anything else in the stove could be harmful to the combustor. Seasoned dried wood is wood that has been cut, sized, and stacked for ventilation and covered for 10 to 12 months. Remember, burning anything else in a catalytic stove is harmful to the catalytic combustor. Thanks for watching. To learn exactly what a catalytic combustor is and how it works, head to the next segment. We've got a lot more to learn from the industry leaders in applied ceramics.